Maintaining character consistency across different scenes has always been a challenge when generating AI images for stories. Thankfully, Design's new consistent character tool simplifies this process. Hey, this is Mia with Design. In today's video, I'll show you how to use this feature to ensure your character's appearance remain consistent throughout your AI-generated images to tell a seamless story. I'll guide you step by step from creating a character sheet to generating images with consistent characters and even bring them to life with the image to video feature. Follow along to create your own consistent character stories. Let's get started. To get started, use the link below and log into your dashboard. Click on create new project and select the proper aspect ratio. On the left, you'll find a character option in the toolbar. Click and we'll see both the consistent character tool and the character sheet tool. The consistent character feature requires you to provide training images that has a specific character with uniform characteristics. Make sure that the images are high resolution, watermark free, with dimensions of at least 512 pixels in both width and height. You can use between 1 to 30 images for training. If you already created your character, feel free to skip ahead using the timestamps below. For those who haven't, stick around as we will create our own characters on design. While you can train a character model with just one image on design, preparing multiple images of the same character will give you much better results. The simplest way to do this is by generating a character sheet, which provides various views of your character for more effective training. Now it's super easy to generate a character sheet on design. Just click on the character tool and select character sheet. And then you can enter the description of your character. Describe your character, including age, hairstyle, clothing, shoes, or any other distinctive features. And then we can choose an aspect ratio. I recommend a 16 by 9 aspect ratio as it provides more space to display multiple views of your character. If you want to generate results similar to a previous image, use the same C number. And then we click generate to create the character sheet. The results will appear in the result panel. If we hover over the images, we can preview the result. This process makes it easy to generate a character sheet with multiple views. We can then isolate different views to train the character model more effectively. I found this particular character generation super cute and would be good for my story today. Let's use this one for the next steps. Sometimes the characters may not be exactly as we want them to be. If we want to modify some character details, we can fine tune the results using the AI editor. With local edit, you can edit a specific part of the image. Using insert object, you can add an object to the image with a reference image. You can also erase an object using the AI eraser or expand the image boundaries if necessary. For this image, I want to remove the hairband on some of them. For that, we can use the AI eraser tool. The default is the lasso tool for selection, but we can use the brush tool as well. Let's select the hairband area, then click generate for AI to regenerate the area. I think this one is good. Let's send it again to the canvas. For my character design, I also want to make sure both sides of her ponytails have the ribbon bow ties. So let's use local edit to add some of them in. Again, select the area we want to add the ribbons. On the left panel, enter the text prompt. We can select the style we used before for consistency. Adjust other metrics and click generate. Now this one work. Let's send it to the canvas. Next, we'll crop the images so that we have only one girl on each image. First, go to the layer panel on the right. The one on the top is the final image we want to use. So let's hide the other ones to prevent confusion. Click the three dots on the top layer and select duplicate to create a copy of that layer. Since there are five images we want to crop from the character sheet, we'll duplicate a layer until we have five layers. With a layer selected on the canvas, click crop and drag the crop border to isolate the view of the girl. Once satisfied with the crop area, click done. And repeat this process for each layer and so on. 
After the images are cropped, we want to make sure that the girl is centered in each image and the images are high quality for training. To do this, make sure only the target layer is visible, then click the fit to content icon at the top. This will adjust the canvas boundary to fit the visible content precisely. And next, we'll enhance the image quality with the enhance tool on the left. I've already had another one enhanced here, but here we will add a new enhance. Since it's a human character, we will turn on portrait mode to preserve facial identity. And then we click enhance. If you're happy with the result, download the enhanced image here. You can further upscale if you like, but I think the resolution should be enough for our purpose. You can see that the downloaded image would have the proper aspect ratio and resolution now. Then we repeat these steps for all images. So now we have our character prepared from multiple angles. We're ready to proceed to the consistent character tool. Now let's click on the consistent character tool. In the consistent character panel, click on choose a character. You can see there are already some preset characters you can use to generate consistent images. You can try using these characters to get a feel of how the tool works. And if you click the edit button on a preset character, you'll see the images they use to train that particular character. The types of images they use are good examples for generating your own training images. Let's add our new character. We can click the eye icon to see the requirements. Let's give it a name. And here we can upload 1 to 30 images of our character. We'll upload the ones we just prepared. Click train to start the training process. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes and we'll come back for it. Now the character is ready, let's use it to create our images. Once you click the character, you'll notice a default description that captures their main appearance loaded into the text prompt. We should keep this description to reinforce the character's details. If you don't include the default description, the results may not be as consistent, especially the name of your character you need to keep there. If you remove it by accident, don't worry. We can simply click the restore button to bring back the default description. Now following the default description, let's add an action and a setting. Let's say she is sleeping soundly in bed. Since we are creating a movie, I'll select 16 by 9 for aspect ratio. No need for the scene here and click generate. The consistent here is very impressive. The character's facial features, hairstyle, and outfit remain uniform across the images. But the girl's sleeping posture feels a bit awkward. This is likely because for a sleeping scene, details like brown boots are unnecessary and can actually detract from the focus. So including unnecessary details in the prompt can confuse the AI, causing it to prioritize irrelevant elements. Let's remove the mention of the brown boots and focus solely on the sleeping action. Now it's much better. The sleep looks more convincing and natural. The takeaway here is to adjust prompts according to the specific scenes, keeping only relevant details to help the AI produce more natural and accurate results. Sometimes the character's default outfit doesn't fit the scene or action you have in mind. Changing it up can improve your character's performance. For example, for a swimming scene, if we leave the default description as is and add she is swimming in the pool and generate here. If we leave the outfit description as is and don't specify a swimsuit in this example, the AI would get confused and won't generate a natural swimming scene. Let's change the outfit to a swimsuit to match the scene and try again. Now properly dressed for the pool, she's ready to make a splash. To bring your scene to life, adding specific details about the character's location, body posture, and facial expressions can make a big difference. The more details you include, the closer the image will match your vision. For example, simply stating she is dancing would result in generic images like these. To create a more lively and captivating scene, we should include more details and see if we can get a different result. Her arms are outstretched, one hand raised towards the sky and the other gracefully sweeping through the air, with one leg slightly bent mid-spin in a sun dapple meadow in golden hour. Okay, this is written by ChatGPT, so let's generate. 
Now these results are more cinematic and story-like. By adding specific details, we guide the AI to generate a more vivid and emotionally engaging image. We can also add text to the image. Let's try to create a movie poster or a storybook cover for our story. I'll adjust the prompt. Mia and her fluffy white cat are floating on a soft fluffy cloud in a pastel colored sky. Surrounding them are gentle swirling clouds, butterflies, and soft golden light from the setting sun, creating a dreamy atmosphere. The title Sweet Dreams is in whimsical large font at the top with Bye Meow Meow written below in delicate lettering. The overall mood is magical and calming, perfect for a bedtime story. Let's select a different aspect ratio and click Generate. And just like this, we have easily created an eye-catching book cover to showcase our story. So to sum up, here are the main tips for consistent character images. First, keep the character's description to enhance a consistent look. Second, remove unnecessary details to focus on the main actions. Third, adjust outfits to match actions or settings. Fourth, add specific details to make the scene feel complete. So for more guidance, you can click this icon in the Character Consistent tool to access a full article with additional tips. Now that we know how to create consistent character images, we can turn our images into videos directly on design to create a mini movie trailer for our character. I've created this storyboard that describes the scenes we are creating for this movie trailer. We will use the image prompt to create the images with like what we did before and then animate them using the image to video tool. If you need some inspiration for your story, you can use the following ChatGPT prompt adjust with your own ideas and come up with a similar table. Once our images are ready, we can enhance their quality using design. Here I have enhanced my selected images and place it on the canvas like this. Now let's click the image to video tool to turn our images into videos. Keep in mind that this is a premium feature on design, but now you can try the premium account for free for seven days. We will set an image as the starting frame, by uploading one, we use a visible image on the canvas. And if we want more control over the animation, we can also assign an end frame so that the AI will bridge the start and end frame together into a cohesive video. For this demonstration, we'll simply use the starting frame. In the text prompt box, we'll describe what we want to see. Mainly, we can focus on the character's action and the camera movement. For example, we might write, she is sleeping peacefully in her cozy bed, camera zoom in. The imagination slider lets us control the AI's creative freedom. Moving it to the right makes the AI follow the prompt closely, while moving to the left allows for more creative freedom. Let's pick a middle range for a balanced result. We can also choose between a 5 second and a 10 second duration. I think 5 second is good for this scene. Let's generate and see what we get. It takes about 5 minutes to process and we'll come back for it. I'm really impressed by the result. The sleeping motion is smooth and natural. And also there's subtle movement from her breathing to make the scene more convincing. We can download the clip to save it then repeat these steps for each of our scenes. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get to the effect you want, and it also depends on your own preference in terms of quality. Once we have all the clips, we can download them, add a voiceover and background music, and edit them together into a captivating movie trailer. A great movie trailer isn't complete without a proper voiceover. For voiceover, we are using the text-to-speech tool on, on speechgen.io this time because I find many options for children's voices that are perfect for this project. On the panel, we first select the language. You can select the voices in here. Listen to the samples down here. And we can change the pitch and the speed. On here, simply put your narration into the large text box. Once we're ready, click Generate Speech. If we're happy with the result, we can download it and move on to the next step. And we'll use CapCut to edit the movie trailer. Start by importing all the footage and the voiceover, and then we drag them to the timeline in order. If the voiceover pauses feel too short, I will split each sentence into separate segments. Then we match the visual to the voiceover while keeping the pacing in mind. 
You can adjust the speed of the footage on the right panel using the speed option to highlight the best moments or improve visual flow. Make sure that the length of each clip matches the voiceover segments. As a finishing touch, I want to add an end screen. Go to import, stock material, and I'll use a purple background and add the text. We can then customize the text design using the right panel. For this type of video, I think we should add a background music. We can find one in the audio panel. Also, let's layer in some sound effects to make the video more engaging. For me, I want to add bubbles underwater and a dragon roaring sound for my video. We can also add transitions or effects to create a smoother flow to the final scene. Click export to download the finished video. And here's our final product. I fell asleep and started to dream. I danced with pretty butterflies. I swam with sparkly fish in the shiny water. I met a magical dragon and together we flew to the sky. I sit on a soft cloud with my fluffy cat. Dreaming is so much fun. I can't wait to dream again. Have a sweet dream. Now it's your turn to create your own story. Try it yourself with a link below and let us know how it goes. Thanks for watching and happy creating.